All right, guys, we're going to get started with today's video. Um, it's going to be Viper Smokes and Curtains God on the map Haven. Uh, fair warning, the lineups on this map are actually somewhat difficult. Um, so I'm going to try to be as detailed as possible in my lineups while still keeping it kind of brief and not letting the video drag out. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so this attacker spawn right here. I'm going to go and show you the first curtain and smoke um, together because I pretty much use them exclusively together. The curtain is going to be you're going to stay on top of this clay pot. Um, and then you're just going to aim a little bit above this... Um, corner to the left right and then whenever you do that as long as you're aiming into the air and to the left it's it's gonna work and then you're gonna get over here and tuck yourself off in this corner um, what you're looking for here is you're gonna smoke off heaven so you, when you tuck yourself off in the corner this edge right here is what you're looking for all you're gonna do is jump and throw almost at the same time but not quite so you just want to throw at some point on the way up right it's called a jump throw um, and this game is a little forgiving you don't have to necessarily throw at the peak but that's what it's going to look like whenever you throw it. And then whenever you pop your um, smoke as well. Uh, I preach this all the time. You want to take one angle at a time, right? So whenever you have all of this smoked off, whenever you peek this, you literally only have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about heaven. You can focus on hell. And then you start to clear the site. You check long. And then you pretty much have sight taken. Um, because this smokes off pretty much everything. And then from there, you can do whatever you wish. Okay, smoke number two coming from spawn again. We're going to be smoking off um, A long. Because sometimes if people are playing aggressive A long, this is what you're going to do to counteract it. So you're going to tuck yourself off in this corner right beside this clay pot. And then just aim at the top of this branch. It's really simple. Um, but you'll see that lands perfectly. And then you pop it. And this actually takes control of the ultimate orb, which Viper's ultimate is probably the best in the game. Um, maybe aside from Sages. Uh, but if you didn't know, you can actually pick up your Q and run away at the same time if you didn't see that. So you can take the ultimate orb, pick up your Q, run back, and then you can throw the heaven smoke I just showed you and then start to execute A. Alright, smoke number three is going to be double doors at B. Um, it's my favorite bomb site playing Viper and I'll show you why. What you're going to do is you're going to aim at this stone right here. Um, this stone's what you're looking at because that's actually the center of the building. Most people think it's the bell. The building's actually off center. But what you're just going to do is walk forward until you can't see that stone anymore and then just throw it straight over the building, right? I should get somewhat deep into the site. You just want to pass the um, threshold. Because then whenever you pop that, uh, you have control of this part of the site. And then like I preach, one angle at a time. If you want to take control of the site, you're really only working with one angle, maybe two. Um, but once you're actually on the site, if you ulti a viper, you pretty much just win the round. Because they have to push through so much toxin to get to the bomb site. Uh, and then by that time, they're one HP. And you can really just pick them off as they come forward. Alright, smoke number four coming from spawn. You're going to walk your way over to C, and this is really the only way I like executing C as Viper. You're going to stand on top of these lavenders or petunias, whatever they are, and look for this third rivet. You're really just aiming above the power line just a little bit uh, in line with the third rivet as best as you can get it. Because whenever you throw this, all you're looking to do is block off those boxes and that guy's um, vision, right? Which it does. So... Offers like this on top of those boxes and try to pick you off. So if you do this, it really, just like I preach, gives you one angle at a time, right? Clear sight, one angle at a time. Um, kind of perfect. Okay, so the curtains I like to throw on C um, actually look somewhat like this. So really, you can throw them from the lavenders also. But really, I'm just trying to get it in front of everything and make um, the people who are coming from spawn have to walk through the toxin to actually be able to see anything, right? So whenever I throw this down, I'm really just cutting off all of the rotates. Because with this popped, you're pretty safe walking up. And then this just stops any rotators from being able to do anything, right? No matter where you are, you have no sight, no info on sight. Um, so they have to walk through the toxin into as many different angles as there possibly are on the site. Um, just to try to take an aim battle from they have no idea where. Okay, smoke number five. This one's going to be to smoke off window room from spawn. Uh, really, all you do is tuck yourself off in this corner, and you aim for the farthest left stone. Uh, you just aim a little bit above it. Uh, anything above it will do. If you aim right at it, it'll get stuck on one of these limbs right here. Um, but really, I only throw this if, you know, my team's for some reason keeps taking this aim battle and the guy that they're playing against is really good and he keeps killing people. Um, I'll throw that. Or if I'm playing Lurker for some reason, my team's operating A, I'll throw that and just try to get uh, tucked in and listen for whatever's rotating C or close mid. And then whenever I hear the rotates, I'll start playing aggressive. Okay, so we'll go ahead and move on to the uh, defender smokes that I like to throw. So whenever I play defender, I usually either play A long or a window room. 
Um, and a lot of times if you're playing A long, you'll not get any action for a few rounds. So what I like to do is if that happens, I'll tuck myself like somewhere near this plank. Um, and then really all you're going to do is aim up above this corner right here um, in line with this one, right? Does that make sense? So you're just going to throw it about right there. And it should get somewhat deep into um, A long. And then what that allows you to do is one, um, peek up here without being too in danger. Uh, and allows you to listen really heavily for anything that's going on. And a lot of times you can tuck in right here uh, if you hear some stuff and just go for the aim battles. And then a lot, it also allows you to get right here and tuck in pretty easily, right? Because they're focused on the smoke and everything else around it. They're usually not going to be focused on you here. But it really just gets you up, gives you the ability to get a really fast push um, on a lurk round. And then you can always just pick it up whenever you get here if there's nothing going on. And you're ahead of the rotation, basically. Okay, this right here is probably my favorite curtain in the game. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to throw that. You want this to almost make it all the way to the boxes at the left. If you get too close to the wall, it actually bugs out and it doesn't come down at all. Um, but you want to get somewhere right here and just aim up above the um, uh, roof. But what you're doing is you just want the teal arrow on the left to almost line up with the boxes at the very end. And then whenever you shoot that, I'll show you what it looks like on the other side. Um, it may take me a second. I'll speed this up. Okay, so what happens here... Um, this is what I do against teams who really heavily play around mid, right? So this basically stops their mid push, or it, it makes them think twice about pushing through, right? So basically what that does is lets me get really far ahead of the rotations, and it slows them down. So a lot of times I'll be able to peek this window. If there's a guy here, I'll take the aim battle, and then really quickly peek out and look for another aim battle, or catch somebody off guard. And you'll usually catch somebody off guard because they're either pushing through the smoke or hesitating pushing through the smoke, uh, if they're really heavily mid. Um, base team okay so since I play long a a lot um, I usually have to rotate towards C this way if they take C um, and the curtain I like to throw um, you can actually throw it over this charcoal which is what I usually do and what I like to do is try to cut sight in half because a lot of people if they plan for long a, I'll show you where the long a plant is um, but I'll plan it they'll plan it for long a and then I want to cut off their sight of the bomb if they plan it for long a because planning for long a and then holding it is a really strong strategy and pretty much all maps so what you're going to do is you're going to uh this is the other smoke i throw in conjunction with that curtain if i have both utility up whenever i'm doing this um but either or by itself is just fine i'll tuck myself in behind this window and then you want to get it above this corner and it's kind of um finicky to play with but this is about where i like to throw it um just a little bit above the uh curtain or corner and what that does is it blocks off your sight so like i always preach one angle at a time whenever you come around here the only thing you have to worry about is that and then whenever you're peeking sight is taken care of you don't have to worry about it you can just clear this close angle uh, and i'll go ahead and cut that off because i want to show you what it looks like together and then all you have to do is clear this while the toxin's still up after that usually what i do is wait on my toxin to get back refreshed and then i'm gonna pop it as i'm coming through here right which starts to make the long player get scared because if he planted for long and he's playing out there, the bomb's going to be like right here, right? Um, and he's just going to be camping down there waiting on somebody to tap the bomb. So if I pop that and I'm clearing these angles already, he's either going to be working towards me because he has to come check on the bomb or he's going to start spraying. So that really takes care of that. And then all I have to worry about is window room. Okay, the only other finicky smoke I like to throw whenever I'm playing Defender is if my C's getting taken a lot, I'll tell the C player to swap with me. Uh, I'm going to play aggressive C, and then I'll just get on top of this box and play really close to the right of it, right? Um, and then this leaf right here is actually what you're, this leaf right here, sorry, is what you're using for your lineup. And you want to line it up with your toxic bar, right? Um, so what you want, is, if that makes sense, the toxic bar, the little green thing at the bottom, um, you want the leaf to be just below your toxic bar, uh, right in the very center of it and then whenever you throw that you'll see where it lands it should land somewhere about right there um, And yeah, it does and what that does is it takes up all of these angles, right? So if they're over there They still can't see you and what you can do is you can enter this and you have all of these angles to work with It's just kind of perfect taking one angle at a time Literally because what they're expecting you to do is push out of the smoke, but you've already wrapped all the way around the back of it um, So whoever this is playing back here, maybe it's two maybe it's three people you're at least gonna pick one off uh, and then you have uh, aim battle with the others, but yeah, that's how I like to play C long aggressively All right, I think that's pretty much gonna cover it because I can't think of anything else I would actually use in game um, In terms of this you can smoke these off because you have this control the blue lines right there same thing with window um, You can throw that smoke from 
here. I uh, just land straight in the window. It's pretty easy. Other than that, we've kind of covered all the angles to um, take A, B, and C sites from different areas um, and retake. And then curtains, you're just cutting off exits on your um, rotate and or if you know they're rotating early. All right, guys, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave suggestions in the comments down below. And don't forget to drop me a subscription if you enjoyed the video. Uh, other than that, my Twitch and Discord are going to be in the description below. If you want to get in contact with me, check me out. Uh, have any questions or anything like that, feel free to hit me up on those. Um, other than that, the next few videos that are going to be coming out, I'm doing an in-depth Viper Guide. is going to be coming out tomorrow at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. That's going to be the new schedule for the uh, upcoming YouTube videos every day. 12 o'clock central standard time uh, after that i'm going to go into a in detail beginner intermediate and then advanced guide um, just about the basics of valorant as a whole so if you're interested in that be sure to drop a subscription so you can catch those and other than that peace out boys have a good day and thanks for stopping by and i've been chilling watching the ocean with you baby up with a slow motion crew and we up in the cloudlands when people change but not us and we just chillin', kickin' it, kissed by the sun